made by the ECMWF. The US model is the GFS made by the US government. Both use the same basic data, but get different results based on software differences and different equations. The American model is free, while access to the European one can cost up to 150,000 euros a year. The European model thus has more computing power, so it can see more detail. The US version is made on slower computers, but it has improved a lot over the years. The US model does four forecasts a day, which help it fix mistakes, but can also lead to a flip-flopping forecast. The European model does two a day, but runs an intensive system of quality checks before running its program. It also runs its forecast after the US model, giving it more time to get information. To make a forecast, the US model uses 3D variational data assimilation, meaning it collects data at a precise time and makes a prediction based on that. The European model uses 4D variation, so it collects observations over a period of hours, updating information continuously before it makes up its forecast. Forecasting isn't an exact science, so in order to make your best guess as to how the weather will be, the different centers run a bunch of hypotheticals, changing up small variables to figure out the most common and likely outcome. The US model assembles its forecast using 21 different hypothetical situations. The European model uses 51. Either way, a forecast is more accurate the closer to the day. Within 48 hours, you'll usually get a pretty accurate forecast, regardless of the model making it. And besides, most meteorologists use a mixture of models when making their forecast. So whether you're Team Euro or Team US, you're covered.